everyone, my name is Katin K. Tabutabo, a second year nursing student of Nagos Oriental State University, Main Campus 1. Today, in our return demonstration, we will be doing our herbal medicine preparation. So, herbal medicines are um, came from plants, from its um, leaves, flowers, barks, seeds, to cure and prevent a disease. So, it is commonly used for self-limiting conditions such as colds, um, sore throat, uh, bee sting, swelling, and inflammatory when uh, professional care is not available. This is also to avoid any um, inconvenience and costly as well as time-consuming procedures. So today we will be preparing an ointment using um, ginger. So uh, as we all know that ginger is a rhizome, it is a root plant which is um, known as a um, used as um, spices and also used in herbal medicine. So it contains anti-inflammatory properties as well as antioxidants and anti-cancer properties that might help um, alleviate or um, relieve our client from inflammation or any swelling from the joints or in the skin. So today, um, we will begin our procedure and before we start, let me first introduce to you the things that we will use. Now, these are the things that we will be using. Um, first, of course, we have our ginger and also our peeler since we will peel the skin of our ginger. And we also have here our candle wax that will be melted later. So, we have here our two pots. And we also have here our coconut or cooking oil. We have our container for our ointment later. So it also um, also uh, has a label for storage considerations. And we have here our strainer, so a strainer and our cheesecloth. And we have here our um, chopping board and our knife. Now I'm done introducing to you the things that we will use, we can now begin. To formally begin our procedure, first we will wear our protective gears. So I have now my hairnet and I will wear my apron. And later, we will wear our mask and gloves after we've washed our ginger. So now, for the first step, we will be washing our ginger. Now we will be doing our hand hygiene and we will be rinsing our ginger. Now we can see the dirt from our ginger. Now our ginger is cleaned. Now we can peel it and um, chop it into pieces. Now we will be chopping into pieces our um, ginger. So now I will wear my gloves to avoid spreading of unwanted microorganisms.
Now our chopping board. Now we will peel our ginger. Now, our ginger is now in pieces. So we will be using 5 tablespoons of it. Now, we are done slicing our ginger into tiny pieces. Now, we will put 5 tablespoons of it to our pot. Now we are done putting 5 tablespoons of sliced ginger to our pot. Now we will put 1 cup of our cooking oil. So we have the 1 cup. And we will put it to our pot. Now we are done putting our cooking oil into our sliced ginger. So we will heat it for 5 minutes. Now we will heat it 5 minutes until brown. So medium fire.
now as our um, ginger is um, being heated, we will now start melting our paraffin. Now it's been 5 minutes and as I can see in our ginger, um, it's not yet brown so we will um, leave it for a while and move to the container our melted paraffin. Okay, so this is a new spoon, so we will check. Okay, so it's not, um, still it's not yet brown. So, as you can see, our um, sliced gingers are brown, so we will close the fire. Now we will strain it. Now we will sieve it using our strainer, transferring it, transferring the oil to another pot. So it's brown. Now we will set it aside. Now using 
encourage his cloth to strain it again. So it is taking um, time. Now again, I will stream it. Okay. So to make sure that there are no um, tiny pieces of ginger into our oil. Okay. So now, we are done straining it. Now we will add our one half cup of our melted paraffin into our mixture. Okay. Then adding our paraffin. Now we will let it cool for a few minutes and transfer it into our container. So, um, there's a storage consideration written at the back of our container. Now, it's been um, 30 minutes and our ointment has cooled down. Now, we will transfer it to our container. So, we've put a um, label on it. So, it says... Ginger ointment, natural herbal medicine. And at the back, we have here the name ginger ointment and the date prepared September 1, 2021. And indication for joint pains and expiration when there is a sign of mold. And for storage consideration, um, 
our ointment must be kept into a cool and dry place away from sunlight and must be stored in an airtight container like this one so at the top of it another logo okay so now we will transfer it the video adjusted because I need to delete some files because my phone is already on full storage. Now we are transferring the remaining movement into our container. Okay. So it is completely cooled down so as you can see it gives a ointment consistency like we see in um, the ointments we can buy the market. So we'll clean the edges. So we can see that the edges are now clean. Now we will cover our container and we are done in transferring it into our container. So this is our finished product. So our ointment, it has completely dried. Close it and there we have it. We are finally done in doing our herbal medicine preparation in our today's return demonstration. So this is our finished product, our ginger ointment. We have our label at the front and information at the back. This has been Kahn Kate Tabutabo. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you, stay safe, and goodbye.